I'm Mia, and welcome to Obscure Delusions TV. In this new series, I'll be showcasing my favorite animated movies and shows from my childhood that might not be as well known as the big Disney movies. And I'll be honoring them by making a little fan art tribute as well. So if stuff like this piques your interest, make sure to stay connected by subscribing and pushing that like button. And without further ado, let's get into it. The Secret of Nim was released July 16, 1982, and it was the directorial debut of Disney veteran Don Bluth. It stars Elizabeth Hartman, Derek Jacoby, and the legend himself Dom DeLuise, who is one of my all-time favorite voice actors. At the time of me making this, this movie is available to watch in its entirety on YouTube and watching it for the first time in years has brought back so many memories. A premise description by Robert Ebert asks, what if a group of lab animals were injected with an experimental drug that made them as intelligent as humans? I think that's terrifying to think about, but <laughs> let's get into the story. First, I should say, this movie is based on the children's book, Mrs. Frisbee and the Rats of Nim by Robert C. O'Brien. This movie is really, really dark. I remember being so scared of it as a kid, and I was so shocked to see that it was rated G. We follow a mouse named Mrs. Frisbee whose husband just died. She needs to move her home from out of a field before this local farmer plows it and crushes her family. She has a very, very ill son named Timmy who can't be moved. So she seeks help from the rats who are those experimental hyper intelligent rats that were experimented on. These rats happen to live in this hidden, elaborate, beautiful chamber where they steal humans' electricity. There, she meets the wise old elder rat, Nicodemus. He gives her an amulet called the stone that gives her magical powers when she's courageous. And spoiler alert, it's what ends up saving her family in the end. What really stuck with me with this movie was the art style. The animation, the backgrounds, the character design. This is top-notch work. So I would like to honor the secret of Nim by making some fan art. So let's draw. Here's a time lapse of my drawing becoming an illustration of Mrs. Brisby in Procreate. I'm thinking it might be really fun to turn my fan art into stickers after each video. But I'll use this time to talk about the artwork behind The Secret of Nim. So Don Bluth was one of the original legendary animators from Disney and he left with a big group of animators. And they walked out and set up their own studio at MGM. This group was Don Bluth, Gary Goldman, John Pomeroy, and nine other fellow Disney animators. This was at a time where Disney was starting to go a little bit away from traditional animation for lower production costs. So this studio's goal was to feature animation's golden era. Unfortunately, I didn't get to touch on the music because of YouTube's restrictions, but the music in this movie is incredible. And the songs are written by Jerry Goldsmith and performed by the National Philharmonic Orchestra. This movie has an approval rating of 93% on Rotten Tomatoes, and I think it's well deserved. Decades later, MGM released a direct-to-video sequel. And we don't talk about that movie. <laughs> like Don Bluth, none of the original people were involved, except for two major voice actors, but that whole sequel wasn't, it did not capture the magic at all, unfortunately. But it's cool that they tried. 
that's the end of my rant. Um, I hope that you got something out of this video, that it triggers some nostalgia or happy feelings, or that you're gonna go watch it now. And if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. I might make a video on it if I like it. And if you made it to the end, don't forget to like this video and leave a little mouse emoji. And I will see you in episode two.